Okay, fine. First, set the BPM to 105. Maddion's all about that pop culture, so this calls for a major chord progression. On a piano, play these chords. Um, actually, if I'm being honest, there's so many different flavors of Maddion, okay? There's the old school, Complexstro. He's got upbeat adventures, the very soulful good faith. How on earth are you going to make a video on this, Ash? Well, that's easy. I put them all together. And even though there's already so many of these, he's got this magic that's really hard to capture. So I'll be taking some creative liberties and injecting some of my own style into it. If you want to learn the techniques he uses, keep on watching. But if you're going to be upset that this isn't an exact recreation, at the end of the day, the only person that can truly Maddie on is, well, Maddie on. So I think it's worth trying out. So in true good faith style, find an uplifting gospel choir. Amen. But chop it up to something catchy. Add in an offbeat vocal. Some ambience in the key of the song. I've also got some auto pan on there for some sh movement. On a marimba, make a cute little melody that we can tuck into the back there. A little bit of guitar plucks. And an acoustic ride cymbal to keep the beat. Throw on a utility with a little bit of width. Some house hats. And a little bit of garage percussions, but reverbed out like crazy. And before we transition into the next part, a little bloop arp. And just write in the notes, throw it on a square wave, and... And all together, that sounds like this. First, set aside 64 bars. But wait a minute, this is a Maddion tutorial. He doesn't use buildups. Since he's clearly inspired by pop music, we're gonna use a similar arrangement. So still, let's stick with this 64 bars here, but we're gonna break it up kinda like this. 32 bars here for the verse, and another 32 for the chorus. On a drum rack, find a kick with a nice punchy transient, an equally punchy electro snare with an EQ cut and a saturator. Make a simple 4-4 kick, snare, drum pattern and have that go on for the first 32 bars. Then add a little break for dramatic effect. Then bring them back in for the last 16 bars. Also add a synthwave clap, but place it a little bit before the snare so you get that extra punch. Copy and paste those house hats. Jazzville. Disco guitar pluck. Cause why the funk not? Copy over the piano, the vocal chop, and marimba lead that you made in the intro. When the chorus hits, switch the piano chords a little. From the same piano, copy all the bottom notes and put them onto a simple bass sound. If you did it right, it should sound like this.
But, arguably, the most important parts of Mattyon, especially the new stuff, are his vocals. If you're going to write your own vocals and channel Mattyon energy, you want to focus on combining poppy melodies with introspective melancholy, aka sad, yet hopeful lyrics. And I tried getting this. And even though I'm the king of being introspective, but given the past few years, for me, it's been hard to be hopeful. Between the state of the world and my own personal insecurities, I do be struggling with those lyrics. Plus, the stuff I write sometimes might have you question if everything's okay with me. And if you feel the same way, I hope at the very least my videos can help ease whatever you might be going through. Ah, oh, come on, let me see those. They can't be that bad. Oh, no. Hey, no, give those back. Who hurt you? But if you close your eyes... Emotional damage! Emotional damage! Emotional damage! Emotional damage! So, <laughs> to solve this, just cover one of your favorite bands instead. So it's their sadness. Not yours. Anyway, here's Armadillo Shells by Hot Mulligan. Plus, they'll be better lyricists than I'll ever be. But I'm getting there. Now, for the stuff you actually care about. The processing. Therefore, I once again present five easy steps to how to sound like Mattyon singing vocals when singing, possibly for free. After you're done tuning all of your vocals and recording them really nicely, use the free plugin called M Auto Pitch. This adds the auto tune effect, but also has a formant knob that really gets the Mattyon sound. And you want to automate them for certain words for contrast. Add another M Auto Pitch but bring the formant down permanently so you get that low effect. And utility to keep it narrow. Use OTT with Camel Crusher to normalize the volume and keep it sounding flat and less dynamic because you want that electronic sound. Create a parallel audio effect rack. One with reverb and a little micro shift. Yes, I know I said free. I got this one for free, but you can also use a chorus. I think micro shift sounds better, but same effect. Chorus. And micro shift. Micro shift gets you closer to Maddie on sound, but you know, we do what we can. Another free plugin, fresh air to give it the, uh, the air. And an EQ that looks like this. So scared that you don't want me here in the corner. Did we just turn this video into what if? Remember those? By the way, hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I guess we're doing what if Mattyon wrote Armadillo Shells by Hot Mulligan. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Please. Okay, let's just make the drop. Hey, whatever you're making there is pretty nice. But if you want to find some collaboration over it, it's hella easy with today's sponsor, DistroKid, aka a friend of the channel. They let me keep making these videos, so pay attention. You get what you want to get paid from your music and you want to keep all of it, but if you have a collaborator and you want to give them a piece of the pie, DistroKid makes it super easy because anyone you collaborate with gets paid as well using DistroKid's special feature called Splits. Yeah, if you have if you've music out with a collaborator, DistroKid can split the earnings from any song or album and automatically send those to your collaborators. That, that means you get your own Matty on and Porter Robinson or Jack U and you share your earnings with everybody involved and all you need is their email. You just set the percentage and DistroKid makes sure that they're getting money for their streams and downloads. So you don't have to have an accountant. You don't have to send money to anyone. It's all done for you. Plus, you can add up unlimited collaborators to any track. You can change the split of the percentage anytime. Add or remove people. You can go back in time to see any preview splits. And these are all private. And if the other person needs a DistroKid account, they actually get 50% off. So that's kind of a really good deal. And your release won't get delayed if your collaborator is slow, which is fun. You know, that happens. And if, you know, they ghost you completely, you can easily cancel their invites and relocate the money somewhere else. Someone who deserves it. As always, DistroKid doesn't take a cut of this and you and your collaborators get 100% of the earnings. So if you're ready to release some music with a friend, 
Sign up for DistroKid. If that yearly subscription is a bit too much, DistroKid has given me a discount code to give to you because you're so lovely and watching my videos. So sign up, get 7% off your first year using the VIP link below. As always, thank you DistroKid for sponsoring. Let's get back to it. Copy and paste the kick snare pattern. Add rides on the quarter note. An offbeat hat crashes on the first beat. And a cool filtered percussion loop. You can make this using envelope follower and mapping it to an auto filters frequency and also an LFO mapped to frequency shifters course knob. This got me feeling silly, goofy. I mean, groovy. And altogether, that sounds like. Bring in the chords. These are the same ones from the verse for the sounds Chaos Super Saw. And you can get that by mapping Chaos Knob in sample and hold mode to your saw oscillator on course pitch and then going into the matrix and setting the output to 20. What makes Mattion synths really shine is an almost vocal quality to the chords. This is just a serum preset called Monk Choir. You can find it in pads. Add a little reverb and cut out the lows together with the saws. For arrangement, I initially wrote it like this for a more melodic mid-tempo vibe. But hearing this, this is not a Mattion enough. It's not even Porter Robinson enough. And what's missing is the space and the rhythm. You can get it like this by generally having your chords on the first beat and then sprinkling in these little syncopated rhythms. So it sounds more like. And we'll fill in these gaps later to make it a little bit more complex tro ish Ash. What? I was uh, watching your videos and your streams, and you have mentioned before in the past that you hate Complexstro. I do, but only because it's too big-brained for me. Ahem, <laughs> but you're, uh, you're clearly making Complexstro. No, nah, it's, it's a little bit too slow to actually be complex. According to this video that I saw on YouTube, it's definitely got some aspects of Complexstro. Fine, fine, but do you hear any Game Boy bloops? I draw the line at stupid Game Boy chiptune woo! So once you have your chord pattern, uh-huh, make an ARP synth and put a few of the chords on there too. But not all of them. So this is the ARP synth and you can see that I'm leaving some gaps. Um, uh, okay, fine, you got me. Time for fill in more gaps. Copy over the bottom chord notes to the same bass as earlier. Inside the gaps, we're gonna add little notes and if you need help figuring out what notes to add in, you can turn on Ableton Scale. And for our example, we're in A major. And you can just kind of put notes in until it sounds kind of funky fresh. Duplicate this layer and put it on a crunchy bass. Put this all together into a super sidechain group and make the sidechain absolutely bonkers. Just cause like in the gym, gotta get a good pump. Also, the drums gotta cut through like crazy, so. For everything outside the group, I use a bit of a lighter sidechain because we don't want everything pumping. At some point, you gotta stop, even me. Find some slap basses on splice and just stick them at the end of each 16 bar phrase. Add in some tape stops. To make this without any plugins, make a blank audio track, turn resampling on, hit record, take a small piece of it, and in the envelope tab, select clip, transposition, and give it a little, uh, one of those. And mute all the sounds above it but I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use this one instead. Copy and paste the gospel choir onto another track. Hey, not punchy enough. Ah, yes. OTT, of course. From the verse and the intro, bring in the vocal chop, the ambience, the marimba, and funky guitars to keep the song consistent. All together, Now, 
We just need a lead. In Serum, you can create the classic Technicolor lead by frequency modulating a noise oscillator around these settings onto a square wave, then running it through a downsample distortion and formant filter. Some reverb and hyperdimension to give it some space and leaving it outside the super sidechain group so it sits on top of everything. Technicolor's been done. That's old Marion. I want a new Marion, like all my friends, unlike you, who doesn't have any friends. I, I have Twitch chat. Doesn't count. Fine. But for the last 32 bars, change up the lead melody a little bit with a B fine type lead. Closer. That's the chain smokers. But if you want to make the drop more all my friends, just deactivate the choir, extend the funky guitar loop to the whole thing, and add some vocal chop. How's that? Huh? Whatever. I was gonna ask another YouTuber to make a Maddie on video. I haven't even heard the whole song yet. And if you made it this far, you're one step closer to becoming a pro producer. If there's any artists you want me to break down, comment below. And if you support what I'm doing, even just liking and subscribing to my channel helps my content reach more people and lets me keep making these. If you want to support me further, you can check out my Patreon. Even just the $2 tier helps me way more than you think. Plus, you'll find project files for every song you've heard on this channel, including this one. Along with the presets for Serum and some in-depth breakdowns as well. Now, all together from the beginning, it sounds like this. Now go make some bangers. Unless you ask if I'm okay yeah, yeah. 